TV. Sponsored by A Taste of Cypress, Chesham. Now doing deliveries. Welcome back to Boom Night TV. We are at the world famous Taste of Cypress. And we have a guest, George Hillyard. We had to get him back, mate. He's a great guest. Um, there's been a lot happening, George. A bit, a lot. Loads. Lo lo loads happening. Um, New Eden. Yeah. Yeah. Arsenal colours. Football's coming back. It's coming back. So listen, so let's talk about all the current events right here. Um, last Saturday, there was a Black Lives Matter protest. Um, and then Eddie Joshua, Eddie Joshua, um, he started, um, he, he, he said a speech. He said a speech and it's caused, a, the uproar it's caused has been unbelievable. Yeah. Um, He's divided a lot of people. It's he has divided. He, yeah, I'm not. Listen, there's no two ways about this. Yeah, right? no, he, yeah, yeah. Yes, because you know what? I've never seen this before. I mean, like a boxer since Muhammad Ali, who's who's, who's made a statement and divided people like this. Um, and that was that. When was, when was Muhammad Ali? Was around like 50 years? 70, 70 years in the 70s, really. So that's what's that? That's like 50, 50 years ago. Yeah. So for 50 years. A boxer has not divided the, the boxing public like this, all right? Unprecedented. It's divided it massively. It's, yeah. So let's just go. Let's go with what he said. He said that um, black people should invest in our black businesses. Um, he said that they should buy from black-owned businesses and keep it within their community. Yeah. Would you? Would, how would you? What do you think? What do you think? How do you feel about what um, he said? Because you have you seen the full, the full, the full Yeah, thing? I have. So. How would that come then? So when he fights, does he only want black people to only buy tickets off him? See, this is the thing. This yeah, is the that's what it's gonna. Do you, know, do, do you know what I'm saying? Oh, we'll probably get slated for saying that now. No, no, but, no, 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 so no, no. Listen, it, no. That's, that's how it's dividing everything. Yeah, no, but no, 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 no. no. Well, what, what it is is you're right. I mean, we, listen, we're not saying nothing catches golly, um, but there are people online saying that you know what I mean. You know, you needed white people to buy your tickets when you was coming up. Um, you know what? And the thing about it is, you know what? People say more than they say. Facts of the matter is, do you feel that he was being divisive? Do you feel he was being trying to trying to? Uh, what do you think? Do you feel he was being racist? Uh, in I, really statement was that a racist statement? No, I don't think. No, I don't think he was being racist. Mm. I don't. I truly don't. Mm. And um, whether you do or not, or no, 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 no. I'm, I'm just. I'm just saying. There's a figure of a speech. Uh, or, or Joe Bob's down the road, whatever they think. I don't think he was being racist because, uh, as as most people could tell, he was he was reading he was reading it off of a off of a, off of a script. Mm. So um, it's just bad PR work for me, mate. It's just, look, 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 look. It's look. just he's got a. Oh, I just don't know where. I, I just don't know how to say it. So I don't want to be pissing people off. Or say what you got to say, man. Yeah, no, no. Worry about, worry about what yeah. people say. Think, no, you know I, mean? I don't mean pissing people. I just mean because obviously I've got black in my family. You got uh, I'm you mixed race. So it's it's it's, 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 it's an hard it's an hard one to to um to, to question. With, with. But the thing about it is, you know what it is. A lot of people be saying that you know he that he had that he had that he had that um that spat with um with who was that guy um the boxer. Um, he said that um, black soup, um, you're a disgrace to the black superior race. Eddie Chambers, fast Eddie Chambers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you remember that? Yeah, yeah. When basically they had a they had a bit they had a bit of a, um, a spat on the, on Instagram, and Andy Joshua said he said that Eddie Chambers is a disgrace to the black superior race. Right now. He got off on that. He got off on that, right? He got away with that. He said something about oh, Just someone else used his phone or whatever. He got away. He got. He got away. He got past on that, right? Okay. A lot of people said that was racist. That was racist. You cannot deny that. That was racist. Think about it, right? Yeah. It was on his Instagram, and it was racist. So he said he's got a form for this sort of thing. Do you know what I mean? So someone who's got, got that sort of form, you've got to be a bit careful. Yeah. Remember, he's in the public eye, twenty four seven. When you're in the public eye, so, man, you gotta be super careful. Yeah, it's not even about being about careful. It's 
Just, just be real. Just, just be, real. Just, just, but don't, don't be that person. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Don't, don't, but, don't, you, you, you don't, I don't. Yeah, I'm not into acting. Yeah. Or, oh, you know, behind closed doors, you're a different person, and this, you know, and, and in front. And, but think about it, a lot of people have been saying that that Andy Joshua has been this media trained puppet. You know, and this thing, yeah, right, I know, and the fact, look, look, this, this, let's get real, this channel right here, we ain't pull no punches, right, this is Boom TV right here, we're going to say shit, right, we're going to say shit, a lot of people be dancing around the issues, now listen, Eddie Chambers thing, that was racist, I don't care anyone challenged that, that was racist, you can't say on your Instagram that fucking, there's a black superior race, I'm mixed race, and I'm telling you, I know that's wrong is wrong, you got to call what's wrong when it's wrong, man. That was racist. No, yeah. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. And, and he's got a form for that. And next minute, okay, someone wrote it, wrote it for him. Okay. But then he said, okay, promote black business. Which, okay, is a positive message. I understand that. The can, can I, can, you know when they say he was reading off a script yeah. and someone wrote it for him? Yeah. Did they? We don't know this, do we? Did they? That, did he write that himself? No, no, no. And no. now he's reading it out. For all we know, well, apparently he said that this was written for me by someone at the start of the, the, start of the speech. He, he wrote that. But the, the thing is, hear the cry. Fact of the matter is, that could be his get out of jail free card in case it does blow up. Do you see what I'm trying to yeah, say? Yeah, that, could be his, that could be his insurance. I could say something right now. I could say, go here. I could say a controversial statement right now. I say, do you know what? Just want to let you guys know that this wasn't written for me. That's your way of getting out of it. If it does, if it doesn't go the right yeah, way, yeah, yeah, that's your way of getting out of it. Yeah, so, for all we know, that could have just been like him. It yeah. could be his work. Yeah, We're only going by what he says. Yeah. So, in the days, it could be a load of bo bollocks, right? Yeah. Facts the most. Another thing as well. I've got to say this, right? If uh, you gave me something to read right now, and I didn't agree with it, and I thought it was going to be contentious and whatever, and stuff like that, and I thought it was going to... Well, you'll stop halfway through it, sure. Yeah, you would, wouldn't you? Yeah, sure. You'd be like, hang on a minute, whoa, 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 whoa. I don't agree with this. this is, I don't agree with this. This is like, you know, this is a bit too divisive. This thing now up. You know what, at the end of the day, it's like, you've got a lot of people, and the thing about it is, a lot of, um... I just, I, I just felt, I thought, I just felt, you know what, I thought... I felt it was like it was it was a it was um a device that we didn't need it we didn't need pictures. Yeah, listen, let's cut the bullshit. Do you know what? Yeah. There's more non-racist people out there. Yeah. Right. So if out of 100 people, 99 ain't racist. One racist. Right. So you use this as a figure of speech. I said yeah? more than that. But yeah, no. But I'm using this as a figure of speech. Yeah. So you know, you know what they should do? Yeah. They should look, set a little island up for the racist people and fucking put them all on it and let them fucking fight amongst themselves. I mean, that's so it all. I reckon, but I reckon, I reckon this race, this, this racism issue, right? I reckon there's a race war going to happen, and I reckon that do you know what? I reckon that Tommy Robinson's come out. I reckon that think about it, people frustrated, people are stuck in doors. Um, and all this sort of stuff, and the thing, the thing yeah, this is another thing what I, what, what I think as well. I think there's normally when something like this would, that would happen, people would be going to integrate at work, they'd be going to university, they'd be going to college, they'd be back with their, but they're not. They're sitting down, they're, they're, they're sitting there, 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 Right, it's, you start saying, oh, I'm going to jump on the bandwagon. He starts saying, oh, we're going to jump on the bandwagon. That's all it is. Everyone's jumping on bandwagons. Right? Yeah, you're That's right. That's all it is. But I think it's even deeper than that. I think that, do you know what it is? I think that, I think that basically people are isolating with their families and isolating within their groups. So you've got people like, they're not, they're not, the, the, the integration isn't there. Do you see what I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, you're in their families. So it's easier to be racist now. Like, the thing about it is, right, yeah, it's easier for, what for white people in, 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 with, their, with their white family right this second, right this second right now to be racist. It's easier for a black person within a black family who's isolated to be racist. It's easier. It's a lot harder. If the lockdown wasn't there, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be as bad. Do you know why it wouldn't be as bad? Racism will still exist, but it wouldn't be as bad as it is now. I, right. think, it's, I, think, I think it's... it's I, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna blame... The lockdown's got part of it. Right. Yeah, but you're right about the situation. Yeah, but you can't just sit here and blame lockdown for fucking people being racist. Racism's always been there. It's always been there, right? but I think I think I think it's I think it's magnified even more. Yeah, of course it has. It's no one's got people got no yeah. to do. They, they, look, people need something to talk about, and this is a massive topic right here. And pe all people are talking about it is blowing up. It's on the news and stuff like that. Statues, this statues, that. How do you feel about the statues? 
it's fucking pointless. I mean, why, the, why you don't do this? No, 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 come on. As I said, you want to go and do a march? Go and do a march. You've got no problem with doing a march. Do a peaceful march. Make something stand for something. But you putting down things and smashing designer clothes shop windows and nicking all the clothes out of it, that ain't a fucking march. You know what? I don't, I don't agree to looting, but to the statues, I sort of like, I sort of agree with because it's symbolic. Like you like um, like a slave owner, they pull down a statue from in the sea. To them, it's like okay, like it's like a symbolic to their cause. I understand that. But the thing about it is right here yeah, is apparently there's been um, people said, well, Peter Shilton came out of here saying you should you should do it by democratic vote to get a thing. Really, truly, who's going to go through that bollocks? Look, in case, there's an uprising. There's a lot of um, racial tension, and they want to make it something symbolic. The 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 the, 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 the Wizard Churchill and the burn of the flag. Bang out of order! Yeah. Bang out of order! That's disgusting! Yes, yeah. The person who burned that union jack, I swear to God, should get 10 years. That is treason! Listen, I'm, that is disgusting! For starters, for starters, I want to make it so clear. Yeah. I ain't no fucking politician. Yeah. I ain't saying this is right and that's right. Yeah. I mean, but listen, life is very fucking simple. Mm. Yeah? A square's a square, a circle's a circle, mm. black is black and white is white. Mm. Life is that fucking simple. Yeah. People make it complicated. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's the bottom line of it. Mm. I mean, it's just fucking, oh, just, like I said, I'm not a politician, so yeah. I ain't gonna get involved in, you know what I mean, getting, saying he should do this, she should do that, or, yeah. you know what I mean, it's a load of bollocks. Well, you know what, well, how about this, how about, why, why, why are, you, 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 you got black in your family, yeah? Yeah, my granddad. Why are we still fighting this struggle for our generation for us? For us. Why in this, this day and age, racism still exists? Why is it, why, why is it, why can't we all be British? Well, I was born in Britain, you was born in Britain, people were born in Britain, but people burning the flag, I don't, I don't agree with, I don't like that shit. I don't like that, man. And I swear to God right here, yeah, and I, I understand that the Union Jack, to some people, it, it represents the NF and all that sort of stuff. It had that connotation, and I get that back. You gotta think about how great this country is as well. It's a great country, but you have to understand. I'm looking at it for, as a devil's advocate, right? That basically the Union Jack has got that connotation. The un the NF used it as their what's it as their as their um, uh, they use it as their as their symbol back in the day in the eighties. I remember in the eighties. In the, in the 70s, 80s, they used to be in jail. But to burn it, I don't like that shit. I don't like that shit, do you know what I mean? I think that's wrong. Do you know what I mean? Let's <laughs> get we're getting deep, man. Listen, 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 yeah, I'll skip my mouth. Let's keep it civil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's keep it civil. But you know what, mate? Listen to me. Should we have a spa? What? <laughs> Should we have a spa? Should we get the gloves out? <laughs> <laughs> ding, ding, <laughs> Mate, you know what I'm saying? Listen, listen, this is such a contentious <clears throat> issue. It's such a contentious issue. But you know what? We've only got to the tip of it. We're never going to solve it. We're not politicians. Yeah. Right? It's too much politics. I like to talk about boxing. Fact of the matter is, right? Andy Joshua said that he, he, that he, um, he, 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 black people should promote black business. He's got the he's got a lot of people's backs up, right? Yeah? Um, it could be misconstrued as a racial statement because in that day, is right? Yeah, there are people out there like people got white business who are suffering, and you know, and they're saying, "Oh, well, you only use only use black business." There are people out there. You know, the bottom of the line is, yeah. we don't need to divide this country. Yeah. Right? Yeah. We don't need to divide it as yeah. much as it, it's already divided as much as it is yeah, exactly. already. We don't need to divide it even more. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't give a fuck if you're black, white, pink, yellow, or blue. He's black. You know He's white. It doesn't matter. We all think yeah, yeah, yeah. the same. Michael Jackson was right though. It don't matter if you're black or white, man. It don't matter if you're black or white, yeah? Listen to me right here. Black, white, Chinese, whatever you are right here. Facts of the matter is right here. If you're nice to me, I'm going to be nice to you. Red. Red, exactly, man. You know what I mean? Look, the other day, you know what I mean? Listen to me. Listen, if you're, listen, I'm not anti, anti white, I'm not anti black, I'm anti idiot. If you're an idiot, then stay the fuck away from me, alright? That's it, alright? Facts of the matter is right here. Um, we're never going to solve racism. It's never going to go away. It's always going to be there, right here, okay? And facts of the matter is, and it's always, it it's always happens. It always happens when there's all some sort of like recession or some sort of. Course. I mean, you know, it's when, course. It, when it always happens. When there's a recession. Well, it, takes, it takes you away from what's the truth. Yeah. So but they bring racism and the, the racist mark into it. No. When there's the truth of something, 
So we're getting close to something, right? This coronavirus, for example. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. All suddenly, now this is being thrown in with the mix. Mm. So it takes it off the coronavirus or whatever. I'm just using this as an example. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just, it takes it off of what the main reason is going on. Yeah. It takes everything away from that. Yeah. So now we're all worried about this now, this subject. I mean. So what do you know what? I mean, I've heard, I've heard theories that maybe they, maybe this is a big conspiracy by the government to like, you know, to, to um, you know, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just the government want, 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 uh, want, want this to happen. They want this to happen. They want, they want, they want, they want, they want us to be like this in this, in this state. Because think about it, look, the, 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 the economy's fucked. The economy's fucked. And now, what's the, what's the next thing? It's anarchy, anarchy. Like they want this, maybe they want this, they want us to be, this is me, divide and conquer, you ever heard of divide and conquer? Maybe the government have, have orchestrated this, divide and conquer, divide us and they conquer us. Yeah, that's the easiest way to conquer a nation, look, civil war, right? That's, that, no, that's what it's going to be now. Civil war. There, there ain't no more wars, world yeah. wars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a civil war Civil now. war then. So we all fight against each other. That's right. And that's, maybe that's what they want. Yeah, of course it is. Maybe that's what the government want. No, it's not maybe, that is what they want. Well listen, if the government wants to do that, how about this? How about right here? Yeah? Reject the vaccine. How about this? How about don't give in to what they want us to do? Don't play into their trap, don't play into their hands. Right? Alright, be clever about it. Let's not fight each other. Let's stop the bullshit now. Right? They want us to do this. They want us to be in this situation. They want us, they want us to be indoors. They want us to be fighting each other. They want us. they want this. So be clever people. Be clever, alright? It's a boom TV right here. Yeah? Thank you, George. <laughs> George, always a pleasure, mate. Listen. Always, mate, always. Link, um, share, comment, and subscribe. We even talked about boxing today, yes? You know what I mean? What's, what's going on? No, man, it's all politics. It's mean? politics. It's gone mad. So listen, well, uh, there ain't been a lot of boxing, but you know what I mean? Well, next week, we'll talk about boxing. Just to let you know, I'm fighting on the 26th. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Now, go on, go on, go on. No, I'm joking. I've no, I actually am. I actually am fighting. When you 26th fight? of September in Denmark. 26th of September. You're back. You're back. You're back in the ring. Yep. Brilliant. That's great. That's great. Who are you fighting? Um. In, in, in Denmark. It's in, it'll be in Denmark. You, you know, know what? what? You, know, know, you know what? You know what? You know what? <coughs> I live there in Denmark. It's a lovely country, mate. I might come out there. Seriously, I live. I live, I live in Copenhagen. Really nice country. Really nice people. I swear to God. Denmark. I loved it out there. I really, I really do. Like, like, I speak. I speak Danish. In talk tight via film six shoot on the neat tea. Hi hi, Vivian, talks on tight. All my Danish people out there, right? You know what you know what you said. George is a wanker. Cheers, thank you. Yeah, so listen, George boy, out 26 September. Make sure you guys check look out. It'll be England v Denmark, that's what it is. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna come out there, mate. I'm gonna come out there. I'm gonna come out there, mate, seriously. But listen. Boom here TV, we're out of here right here. Like, comment, subscribe. Boom here TV, we out, we out, we out. Boom here TV.